Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my presentation with the title Just Talk to Me, a Qualitative Study of Patient Satisfaction in Emergency Departments. My name is Maximilian Haug. I'm from the Neu-Ulm University of Applied Sciences in Germany, and I'm here on the behalf of my co-authors Maria Dahm, Eiko Gewald, and Andrew Giorgio. So, as the title indicates, we are in the context of emergency departments and patient satisfaction. So we ask ourselves what determines the patient satisfaction in emergency departments and specifically what does communication of information between medical staff members and patient uh, have an influence on the satisfaction. So. To answer this question or to um, dive deeper into this, um, let's go into the introduction and the motivation for this research. First of all, um, as it is probably common knowledge, um, doctor-patient communication is crucial um, and important concerning the uh, outcomes such as trust, satisfaction and adherence to prescribed prescribed treatments or medication. Now, when we look at um, emergency departments, we can see overcrowding problems and also very high workload. So it's not always easy to adequately inform the patients concerning their treatment, their diagnosis or um, other information. So. We propose the following research question and this is what information related to diagnostic testing shape the overall satisfaction of patients emergency department visits so we want simply we want to find out um, what for what kinds of information is exchanged between the medical staff and the patients and how does um, this information exchange shape the overall satisfaction of the patient within the emergency department. And to answer this question, let's look into the literature to have a certain basis um, for this research. In the healthcare context, information plays a very vital role. So when people go to the physician, for example, they have a certain they have certain conditions, they might have pain or they don't feel well, and this creates a lot of uncertainty within the patients and they seek um, they seek that they um, get a certain treatment or information what is wrong with them. So diseases and illnesses negatively impact individuals' quality of life and therefore they seek for information and this information increases their mental well-being since they will probably know what's actually wrong with them and when they know what's wrong with them they can counteract and therefore this information serves a, as a tool um, in the first place for patients mental well-being and is then therefore also associated with um, satisfaction of quality of life and the quality of care. So information plays a pretty vital role in all of this and we want to simply find out what is the role of information in the emergency department specifically. Now let's look into the methods. How did we do this? First of all, this was a qualitative study. Um, it happened between October 2016 and May 2018. Um, there were semi-structured face-to-face interviews that were conducted with 32 patients in emergency departments. The age range was pretty wide. We had 18-year-olds um, up to 84-year-olds. And the cases in these emergency departments included falls, seizures, motor vehicle or work accidents. As you might probably um, think, that the elderly probably had faults and the younger people more had motor vehicle or work accidents. We made a directed content analysis 
with the interviews we conducted and we identified the overall level of satisfaction concerning the emergency visit, emergency department visit. And we also wanted to find out what are the information needs and were the information needs met um, concerning the diagnostic test information. And we also looked into the characteristics of this information. So um, the, the de uh, level of detail for the information, for example, or uh, who delivered the information? Was it a nurse or was it a physician, for example? As you can see, we made these uh, interviews at three different sites. We had three hospitals, one major uh, metropolitan hospital with more than 500 beds. We had a large regional hospital with around 200 beds and a medium metropolitan hospital with also around 200 beds. And the distribution was relatively equal in terms of um, the numbers between the hospitals as well as the numbers um, between the age ranges. So let's look into the results of our research. We got two main points out of the interviews with the patients. First, we found that every patient in the sample was very satisfied or satisfied with their visit at the emergency um, department regardless whether their personal information needs were met or not. Two, patients appeared satisfied with the di diagnostic information provided as long as it was communicated by a medical professional. So this means it doesn't really matter whether the information comes from a nurse or a physician. The people were uh, equally satisfied with the communication. So. Let's look at the first point um, in the beginning. So people were very satisfied with um, the treatment overall. This is pretty relatable. So when people come to the um, ED, they probably have an urgent, an urgent problem which needs to be resolved. And when they go out again, well, their problem is probably resolved, right? And therefore, um, they could be helped in that regard. Therefore, they are satisfied. But now we want to find out what does information in this process, what, what is the role of the information between the medical staff and the patient. And we found a um, concept information appraisal. This is simply speaking, how does the patient accept the information provided by the medical staff? Does he or she reject it or does, uh, does he or she say, yes, I'm satisfied with the information? And we found that information appraisal was one main contributor to the patient satisfaction at the end of the day. So when information appraisal was high, also the satisfaction was high. And we found that the patient's overall appraisal influences the overall satisfaction with their care and with their treatment. So we found that information appraisal is, a, um, is an influencing factor, but now we have to find out what does, uh, which factors influence information appraisal. And here we have two dimensions. One of that dimension is the utility of information. So utility of information refers more or less to how detailed is the information, the content of the information. So um, is there enough level of detail for the patient that the patient says, yes, nice, good to know, or is there insufficient information so that um, patients don't really feel like mm, maybe they don't tell me everything. And they are skeptical. So in our research, we had two cases. First, we had cases in which the information needs were met and therefore the uh, information appraisal was high. I mean, that is probably a, a relatively no brainer when you think about it, when information needs are met, I'm totally satisfied with the level of detail that is provided. I will accept this information. I don't have any doubts. 
On the other hand, we had cases where information needs were not met. And this is quite interesting since also within this group, patients still showed a high information appraisal. So information appraisal was high even though the information needs were not met. They told us, for example, well, I could have I could have used a bit more detail of information from my from my doctor what certain values meant for example or what certain values were when they when they checked for them but still they were pretty satisfied with how everything um, worked in the um, emergency department so utility of information one dimension the next dimension is source of the information and I already uh, talked a bit about that. Um, there were no differences whether the information came, for example, from a nurse or from a doctor or any other health uh, professional. They all showed high information appraisal nevertheless. So as long as the information comes from a, uh, medi a medical professional, People are quite satisfied with um, how they are treated, for um, how they perceive, how competent they perceive the, the um, context in which they are. And that's, that leads us to the <coughs> discussion of our findings. So first of all, we can say that the appraisal of information is one of the main influences on satisfaction and content of information, the utility of the information, is not as important as the, um, the appraisal of information. So we already knew that doctor-patient communication um, is pretty important and we showed now what details make the difference in this communication and we found that it is not so much that you need to give the patient a lot, a ton of information what is happening, since we can probably agree that most patients don't even have the expertise to understand a lot of the technicalities in, um, in healthcare. But the core of the issue is that the communication has to happen. It's not so much about what's the content of the communication, but that the communication simply happens. And this fits with the emergency department context since people are probably, um, they have uncertainty. They, um, they are probably, they fear what's happening to them. And therefore it is much, um, it is much more needed that there is emotional support for these people and that the medical staff or the um, medical professionals engage with the patient, that the patient feels that they are valued and not just a variable that goes in and out, that they feel um, that the medical staff wants to help them. And this is also um, incorporated now in our um, the uh, contribution to theory. We um, show uh, here three hypotheses we derive from our from our research hypothesis one the better the information appraisal by the patients of information provided by the clinician the higher the overall satisfaction of the patient then it is sufficient for health professionals to engage with patients even though the information content is lacking and finally emotional attachment to the patient outweighs the raw information. So this means even though also in the age of digitalization where a lot of information is uh, around us, it is not so much the case that you need to, to give much more information to the patients. They probably cannot even deal with all this information. It is more the human factor. So you need to engage with the patient, you need to give him a little bit of information, sure, but it is more so the um, it is more about 
how um, people engage with the patients, that they are willing to communicate with them. And that is um, the fundamentally the, um, the biggest finding for our research. All right, that was the um, presentation. Thank you for your attention. If you have further questions, um, please contact me under my email address. Um, thanks again for your attention and also thanks MedInfo.